What is up, lads, and welcome back to another episode of the Career Mode. We are into March of this season in our Premier League campaign, in our Premier League fight, really. We're fighting for the Premier League. Um, we start off with a trip to Turf Moor, so let's get straight into it. As for starting 11s, I think we're just going to go strongest possible. As you can see there, the uh, league table with seven points ahead of Liverpool. And Man United actually level on points. City have dropped off in fourth and then they're two points ahead of Spurs in fifth. Um, yeah, so um, I think I'm going to keep the, um, yeah, this side. Actually, I'm going to gonna do this live for you guys as well. Uh, let's get Aubameyang back in. Let's go to the 4-4-2. Tunerman's Partey, Pepe, Saka, Richardson, Ramian. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's get Martinelli on the bench for Erdegaard as well, because he's clearly not fit. Um, Burnley start with Peacock, Farrell, Matt Lowton, Dunn, Twan Zabe, uh, Neil Taylor, Charlie, Charlie Taylor, um, Udan, Calvin Phillips, Kunde Malong, Darwin Machis. Diata and Silva up top. We, uh, of course, you've already seen our lineup. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. Wow, what a ball! So, uh, I mean, I did not aim that to Saka at all. Bam! <sighs> I'm scored on the second chance opportunity, but uh, I did not aim that ball across to Saka. That's for one thing. Richarlison, out to Pepe. Pepe, lovely from Pepe, and this has been the most fucking boring game I've ever played in my life. Saka, 3-0. A 3-0 win at Turf Moor, which for the most part makes it look like a lot easier than it actually was. Um, I don't know what it is about Karimo, but sometimes I start playing and it just feels like the worst thing ever. Um, I might go and play a game of Ultimate Team so that it actually feels like good gameplay, but just honestly, the most just ah, oh, just the most slow, stuck in the mud gameplay ever. But um, hopefully, that's the only game of it because it was at Turf Mall. Who knows? So we travel to the Molyneux for the first leg of the Europa League tie against Wolves. Um, Wolves start with Patricio, Johnny Harit, Harit at the centre back, Taruna Riga. Uh, Tarkovsky, Semedo, Dendonka, Moranchuk, Neto, Lopez, and Traore. We start with Leno in goal, Bellerin at right back, Saleta Sar and Gabriel at the back, Tierney at left back, Guerrero and Paredes in midfield with Erdgaard at the 10, Lookman on the right, Richarlison on the left, and Nketiah up top. Um, does anyone want to tell me why the players are walking through the walls and into the crowd and then running back? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck just happened? And where's my team? Oh, there they are. <laughs> no idea what just happened. Paredes into Erdegaard. Erdegaard, fuck off. And Katia, Richarlison, 1-0. It's been a very, very tough opening 40 minutes. Well, almost first half, but uh, we've got the goal finally through Richarlison. And Katia, lovely ball. Lookman. Lookman, oh, that was a chance. Guerrero, that's a foul. Oh, that... What? Oh my god, man, this is so frustrating. I can't play this anymore, man. This is so shit. Oh, the play just feels so dead. Why Sundays is it just so bad? I just tackled him and he got it straight back. And then he had a through go goal again. It happened a couple of episodes ago. It's just fucking stupid. 
the Raiders into Nketiah. It's just honestly shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nketiah is broken through. He's got Odegaard. <laughs> We've won it at the death. 2 1 to finish the first leg. And that was great play from Nketiah. Honestly, this is the most unenjoyable episode so far, and I've had some unenjoyable ones, trust me. Just, I cannot win the ball back whatsoever. It feels like ultimate team when you just tackle and it keeps bouncing back to them. So, I don't know what's happening today, but uh, my players just feel so slow as well. So, we head to the Amex to face Brighton in what is a, uh, a mini Premier League rivalry. Brighton against Arsenal. Brighton start with Matty Ryan in goal, who is currently an Arsenal player in real life online. Tarek Nampty at right wing back, Veltman, Holgate, Ben White, Karl Bovnik, I think that's how you say it, Malumbi, Exposito, Alzate, Rodriguez and Niang. As for us, we are unchanged from the team that beats, who is it we beat to start off the episode? Burnley. But Martinelli comes in for Richarlison. Gabriel may rhyme with the save. Pepe, Saka, Martinelli. Just fucking turn. Tielemans get in. Spell of dominance early on here. And we finally got the goal after nine minutes. Just relentless. Pepe in towards Gabriel. He failed the first time, but he's headed it home the second. Aubameyang. Pepe. Pepe is the signature. He just does not miss those. I mean, it looked a bit scuffed, but we'll take it. Oh, no. Thomas Partey, 4-0. Tops off a brilliant performance at the Amex. A brilliant win at the Amex. Six points from six so far in the league and the uh, Europa League win to top it off. Now we uh, head home to the Emirates for the second leg against Wolves and uh, try and see that one out. So it's going to be a tense one at the Emirates. We start with Leno in goal, Bellerin, Saletasar, Gabriel and Guerrero. Lookman, Paredes, Ganduzi, Odegaard on the left and then Nketiah and Watkins up top. Watf Watford Wolves come with Patricio, Semedo, Taruna Riga, then Donka, Tarkovsky and Johnny. Yep, Matt Harry didn't start centre-back for them last game if anyone was wondering. That, they got that wrong. Uh, Lopez and Harrit in the middle this time. Miranchuk up top with Traore on the right and Neto on the left. Watkins into Paredes. Patricio saves, great save. He's got Paredes it in. Nketia! <laughs> that is beautiful, that is an Nketia special. Oh God, Paredes. Lookman, lovely play, that is just lovely play across the front line. Uh, man, it doesn't matter what aside we put out, we seem to get the result. Get you into Paredes. Oh my God, Paredes. Kenduzi steps into it. He's got Paredes in. He finally finishes. He's missed a few sitters this episode already, so it's about time he finished Paredes. And there we go, 3-0, and we are into the round of... No, it's the quarterfinals now. Quarterfinals. Paredes, great ball. Watkins is in. Oh, Patricia just saved that with his face. Brilliant. No drama in this second leg. It's not the Champions League semi-final. It's the uh, round of 16 against Wolves, and we uh, wrap this one up comfortably. Um, yeah, just a solid performance. If Wolves had any other uh, any other move in their artillery other than an over-the-top ball to uh, Adama, they might have done something, but they just spammed that and didn't come for anything. So, uh, yeah, a calm result. And uh, we'll find out who we've got in the quarterfinal. So we host Crystal Palace in the league. And this is how the table is currently looking. Still seven points ahead. Liverpool have dropped two points though. So it's just United uh, that are seven points behind us. As for the Europa League, don't think the draw would have been done yet. But it might have been. Quarterfinals it has. Valencia, tricky, tricky. Based off the other teams are there. That's probably the th third or fourth worst. Probably on FIFA, yeah. Probably third worst on FIFA draw to get, which is unfortunate. But um, 
As for the Palace game, we start with Leno, Maitland Niles, Canate, Gabriel, Tierney, Partey, Tielemans, Erdegaard, Pepe, Abamyang, Richarlison, probably our strongest lineup. Um, maybe Saka's in the strongest lineup. That's uh, that's uh, subjective, I suppose. Uh, Vlakadimos in goal for Crystal Palace, Sentonze, Tompkins, Fosu Mensa, Van Arnholt, Mendes at right mid, Correa, Joaquin Correa at centre mid. Hmm. James McCarthy still there. Max Meyer still there. Been released in real life, but uh, Veghorst and Duvan Zapata at top. That's a pretty strong lineup. Pepe. Pepe. Oh, 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 Nicholas Pepe. It is a cheat code up. Someone should probably go and tally up this season how what percentage of goals have been cut in inside on Pepe's left. Erdegaard. Abamia. Erdegaard. Beautiful. Abamian and Erdegaard just have that telepathic communication that Erdegaard and Richarlison just don't seem to have when Richarlison plays up front. Abamian into Richarlison. Back into a Bamiang 3 0. All wrapped up. 70 minutes gone. A stellar performance. Uh, a, a cagey first half, to be fair. I'd say Palace were the better team first half after we got the early goal. But um, yeah, 3 0 win will take it. Two good goals. Uh, to finish it off but uh, I think this season our attack will get most of the praise but you guys don't see it but I'd say the defence is even better Canate has been incredible this season based off the rest of the league surprisingly it's actually our attack that's a lot better than anyone else's I thought it'd be the defence but um, fair enough we do beat batter teams quite often um, yeah, interesting but uh, should wait I've just clocked um yeah, I had a 10 points up behind with a game in the hand. Uh, yeah, that'll take it back to seven anyway. So we actually haven't gained. And then Liverpool, we also haven't gained on. Sorry, I thought I hadn't seen the games played column there. I thought we'd gained on United and Liverpool. But um, who have United got next? Liverpool. Wow, that's, that's very good. We've got West Brom. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we gain some points there. So it's time for the final game of the episode. We host West Brom, another game at the Emirates. Is that our third game? If you include the Wolves' second leg at, in a row at the Emirates, I think it is. Uh, we have the same lineup that just beat Crystal Palace. However, Saka's come in for a Bamiang and Richarlison's gone up top. Um, West Brom start with Paez in goal. Darnell Furlong, Sviatchenko, uh, Daro Shea. Uh, Arkman Hagazi, Kieran Gibbs, Vargas, don't know which Vargas that is, uh, Sam Field, I think that is, Mateus Pereira, Jetro Willems, I think that is, and then Kyle and Grant up top. So, uh, yeah, it's time for an interesting game and uh, hopefully three points to gain on that Liverpool United game. Odegaard, Tielemans, Payas saves. Oh my god, I can't do anything. Tierney. Tielemans, Richarlison has to bury that, he does. An emphatic finish. Erdegaard, Thomas Barter, Tielemans, beautiful. But Tielemans is vital to this side. He might be the missing piece that gives us that title or that Champions League win. Well, obviously not Champions League win this season. We're not in it, but you know what I mean. This is momentum at his absolute finest. Abameyang scored another. I mean, from 1-0 after 70 or well, 60 minutes or whatever, because I can't break them down at all, to them 3-0, and then it's like London buses, three in, a, three in a row. Another stellar, stellar performance at home. I keep saying stellar, I don't know who she is, but uh, that does not matter at all with 1-3-0 at home to West Brom. Slavin Bilic, mate, that was not you. You do not play like that, mate. You've been transformed by West Brom's current manager in real life. I mean... It's not much you can do when your team falls apart after 65 minutes, you know. If they're chasing the ball around for 65 minutes, you can expect that to happen. I am rambling. Um, but Sabamian got one off the bench. Uh, yeah, Richarlison and Tielemans with the other goals. Just a solid second half after a boring first. And United have drawn to Liverpool and City have lost to Spurs. A massive day in our season. Let's have a look at what that's meant for the table. Um, just finish off this... Absolute nothing interview. Although confidence is very important in this game. If your team has low Thanks confidence, so they play terribly. Um, so we've still got a 
uh, United have still got a game in hand, but we are 12 points ahead right now. Wow. Um, as for Liverpool, they're two points behind. Still, Spurs have climbed above City into the top four. So it's looking like that final game of the season against City won't be a title decider for sure, but it might still mean something if United or Liverpool can catch up, which is unlikely, but we can't count them out. But uh, that is a solid way to end the episode, dropped points. Um, let's just have a look at the calendar. In the league, did we concede? We did not. 4-0, 3-0, 3-0 and 3-0. Wow, just incredible. That's what I'm saying. I don't know where these defensive um, stats have come from. I, I don't feel like I've conceded many at all. 19. Hmm. But anyway, um, let me just get the YouTube comments up. Um, we start off with Villa at the start of the next episode. And then the two games against Valencia are sandwiched with uh, Leicester. And then Liverpool, Fulham, Newcastle. So, tricky. So, default tie coming in again. Jaden coming in again. Two loyal commenters. Uh, make sure to get your comments in to get a shout out in the video. Um, yeah, I haven't been promoting the YouTube much on TikTok recently. So, I'll get back to doing that. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later.